Hi hi everyone, this is Wanda from Samusai and today we're going to be making an easy heights friendship bracelet. I have made this bracelet before. I actually made two tutorials on this, but this is a different pattern, so it's going to be different. I'm going to get started by making a loop. And for making a loop, I'm going to use the longest string I have, which in my case is pink. I'm going to fold all my strings in half, then hold the middle. And it's the middle point that I'm going to start from by making the string. So with the pink string, which is my extended string, I'm going to move that from the bunch and then I'm going to use it to make backward forward knots over all the other strings together. So a backward forward knot is like half a backward knot and half a forward knot. So half a backward knot is making a capital letter D and pulling the string through the hole. Pull up. And then a forward is making a four and pulling the string through the hole and up. So I'm going to do this again and make another backward forward knot. So just going to make backward forward knots until when you get the size. I'm going to make about 1.25 inches, which is what I like my loop to be. So this is how my loop looks like. I'm just going to tape this down and then we'll get started by making. We're going to be making a teardrop. It's not a teardrop loop though. But I'm going to be taking the pink string, the one I used to make the loop, and I'm going to make a backward knot over the remaining three strings. So you know we've been making backward forward knots. Now I'm just going to make a backward knot. I feel like you should make your string a little longer, like maybe one point, your loop like 1.5 inches, just to be sure. So my backward knot, which is basically making a D twice. Now I'm going to move that pink string I just used to one side. I'm taking the next string, which is cream colored. I love my cream color string, which is new actually. More about that in a different video. But I'm going to be using that cream string to make a backward knot over the remaining two strings in the bunch at once. Now we're going to take the pink string here and we're going to make a backward knot with the pink string over the white string. And this successfully ends this part. So let's move over to the left side and do the exact same thing. But instead of making backward knots, we're going to be making forward knots instead. Okay. So getting started, we're going to use the pink string we use for the loop. And after, we're going to make a forward knot over the bunch with that. Ignore what I'm doing with my... The fact that I'm holding the other string. I just don't want it to come loose. From how I taped it down. Now take the cream colored string and make a forward knot over the remaining two strings in the bunch. Now onto the last string, we're going to take that out, which is the pink, and make a forward knot over the cream colored string. There. So now that we're done with our start, we're going to officially start the pattern, kind of. <laughs> so take the two strings in the middle, we're going to make a forward knot with them. Now this part might be very tricky because they won't want to stay, so make sure you do make this knot firm and very tight. So I'm going to make the first half and I'm going to make the second half. I'm going to use one finger and hold the left part of my loop and like somehow push it together then i'll pull my string so the second knot can just go there and there it's a little loose as you can see it can lose so i'm just going to pull it again and i'm going to hold it now take the next string that's beside the strings in the middle which are going to be cream colored on each side starting with the right take the right cream colored string and make a backward knot over that pink string in the middle make one backward knot then move that pink string to the right and move the cream string to the left now going towards the left take the left cream colored string that's the string beside the pink one in the middle now with that cream colored string we're going to make two forward knots one over the pink middle string and one over the cream string we just used from the right hopefully that makes sense Now 
I know it looks like we're just making chevrons, but we're actually making chevrons in the pattern too. So don't get confused. Anyway, so we're going to be right. Take this second string counting from the right edge, which is our pink string. So we're going to use that pink string and we're going to make two backward knots. One backward knot over the first pink string and one backward knot over the cream colored string. So two backward knots, one over each. And just in case I haven't mentioned, I have other tutorials on hard bracelets. I'm just making this because this looked much better and easier. Plus it's more beginner friendly than the other ones I made a tutorial for. So now we're going to count again with the second string on the right edge. We're going to make a forward knot over the last string on the edge, or which is the first string on the edge, which is the cream color string. We're going to make a forward knot over that string. And there. So now we're going to go over to the left and do the same thing. Kind of. So starting with the left, we're going to take the second string, counting from the left edge, which again is our pink colored string. We're going to make three forward knots this time. Three forward knots, one over the pink, one over the cream, and one over the pink that's currently in the middle. So now we're going to the right the left again count the second string from the left because we're going to take that and make a backward knot over the cream colored string now we're going to go to the right i'm sorry i don't think i mentioned i'm segment knots in this not going row by row so that might be confusing but just follow me. I promise it will be easier if you follow these steps. Going back to the right, we're going to take the cream color string. Again, the second string counted from the right. And we're going to make two backward knots. One backward knot over the cream string and one backward knot over the pink string. And again, we are going to take the the cream color string which is going to be our second string again and we're going to make three cream colored three <laughs> three forward knots one forward knot over the cream string one forward knot over the pink string in the middle and one forward knot over the other cream string that's also in the middle So we're going to hold our three strings, the pink string on the edge of the right. So we're going to make three backward knots with that. So one backward knot over the white, the cream string, one backward knot over the pink string, and one backward knot over our last cream color string that's currently in the middle. Yeah. Now we're going to go over to the left and do something similar. So taking the leftmost string, which is the pink string on the edge, we're going to make four forward knots. That's one forward knot on the cream string, one forward knot on the pink string that's next to that, and one forward knot on the cream color string. And the last knot will be one forward knot over the pink string that's currently in the middle, the one we just moved from the left to the middle. And now we've finished the heart. I'm just going to be repeating it from this step because I've shown you this before previously. This was a chevron roll. So we're going to make another chevron roll. Kind of, but with a twist. We're going to make a chevron roll. So the leftmost string, which is cream color, we're going to make three backward knots with that string. If you understand what I've been saying so far and you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. 
and if you like to go a little further you can buy me coffee the link is in the description box now if you remember when we first started this at the beginning we made nuts but now i'm going to take the cream colored string which is the second from the left and i'm going to make one forward knot over the pink string we've done this previously a forward knot over the pink string moving that to the left edge now we're going to go to the left and we're going to complete our chevron so taking the leftmost string we are going to make four forward knots Now we're going to take the second string from the left and we're going to make a backward knot over the first string on the left which is the string on the edge that's pink string so we're going to make a backward knot over that and now we're going to make sort of a chevron again going to the right taking the second string there that's the pink string we're going to make two backward knots one backward knot over the pink and one backward knot over the cream color string just in case you don't know i'm repeating the pattern again for those that didn't understand because i made a start at the beginning so i'm repeating the pattern again now that we've done that with the second this is the part that i started from the second rightmost string make a forward knot over the first string there so i think you should remember this step because we did it in the beginning now we're going to go to the left and do the same thing. Taking the second left string, we are going to make three forward knots. One forward knot over the pink string, one forward knot over the cream string, and the last forward knot will be over the pink string that's currently in the middle. Now going to the left again, take that second left string and make a backward knot over the first string, which is the cream color string on the edge. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go all the way back to the right again. Now take the second right string, which is going to be cream color in this case. We're going to make two backward knots with that string one backward knot over the cream color string and one backward knot over the pink string moving this from the second string all the way to the middle now that we've done this we're going to do left i'm not going to do the same thing so take the second left string and make three forward knots one forward knot over the cream one forward knot over the pink and one forward knot over the cream string that's currently in the middle now and now that we're done with this we're going to take the <laughs> now that we're done this we're going to take the left knot string which is the pink string and we're going to make three backward knots so this is our first row of chevron our first chevron row actually now going to the left we're going to take the left mode string and we're going to make five so we're going to make four forward knots completing our chevron row now this is where i'm going to end this tutorial right after i finish the chevron so i'm going to leave a time stop on the screen just in case you want to go back to where the pattern officially started from yeah i'm going to leave a video up there just in case you want to watch it it's another heart pattern just in case 
バイ